camera and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming one of my favorite videos to watch which is a room tour. I don't know why but I just like love watching other people's rooms and like getting inspiration and stuff like that. My apartment definitely isn't the most like well designed. It's kind of bare just because it's a lot of work and a lot of money decorating your own place and especially because I have to move after eight months and like have to like take everything down and all that. Um, I don't have like a ton of like super fancy furniture. But you know, I feel like it's pretty realistic for college students. Just for some context, I'm a sophomore or second year um, at university and right now I live in a university building um, and I live in a furnished studio apartment. So a lot of the furniture that I have isn't actually my own furniture, um, but I'll kind of point that out during the tour. So with that being said, let's get into it. So this is the door when you first walk in. Um, it has some information on it, so I won't be showing you guys that, but, uh, there's just the light switch, and then I have my keys. But the weird thing with this light switch is that you would think it would turn on that light there, but it actually turns on this light, which is kind of interesting, but, you know, that's just the way they designed it, I guess. This is my kitchen. It's definitely pretty small. I barely have any counter space. I just have that place, that place, and then I have a little nook here. So yeah, there's like barely any room for anything, but they do have a lot of cabinets, so that's nice. I just have a standard sink. Um, it's not a double sink, which kind of sucks because I love double sinks, but you know, it works. I just have, you know, some gloves, a nice towel for me to wipe up my messes, and my dish rack. And then I have this stove here. Also works pretty well. I have my lunch bag just hanging there. And then in this corner here, I have my thermos cashews which i love so much on my supplements and if you're wondering what that is um it's a little apple cider vinegar mixture um because i had like a fruit fly infestation not really infestation but there was like a lot of fruit flies that came into my apartment so i had to make a little trap for them so that's what that is i'll just kind of go through the cabinets a little bit in this one i just have my dishes and i have a ton of dry pasta this one has things i use every day so i have my protein powder, nut butters, granola, all that stuff. Now this one's a little bit intense. Um, I have all my spices. Don't ask me why I have so many spices. I don't need all of these, but I don't know. I just have a ton of spices. Like I literally have every single spice you could ever ask for. And then up here I have my stash of snacks. And on this side I have even more snacks. So down there it's just kind of like cleaning supplies and stuff like that and some pots and pans. And then these drawers have my utensils, and then I have all containers down there. On this side I have more like kind of cooking supplies like uh, spatulas, whisks, that kind of stuff. And on the bottom I have some more pots and pans and cutting boards and all that. And now we're going to turn over to this side of the kitchen. So this is where I have my fridge, and then I have my garbage can, and then I have this little area here which is where I usually keep bananas and apples and stuff like that, and like fruits that sit out on the counter, but I don't have any right now, so there's nothing in there. Then right above here, I have all of my baking supplies. So I have my almond flour, uh, oats, coconut, that kind of stuff. And down here, I have, you know, Ziplocs, aluminum foil, parchment paper. And in these cabinets, I have my rice cooker, kettle, and I have a ton of rice down here because, you know, I love rice. Above the fridge, I have some more like extra food storage. So I have canned beans, um, more snacks, tortillas, uh, and I also have my emergency water bottle supply just in case. So this is my fridge. It's actually a pretty big fridge. I have this fun little rock magnet on it. I think I got this in Big Sur. Ooh. This is my freezer. It's pretty full right now. Uh, I have a lot of food I need to eat inside. And this is kind of all the stuff I have in my fridge right now. Alright, moving on to the washroom. So, this washroom also has a weird light switch. The light switch is way in the corner over here. But they have like this thing here, which is where you would think the light switch would be, but it's not for some reason. Yeah, anyway, this washroom is also a pretty good size. Uh, I have a towel rack. I put my broom and a little stool there because I'm short and I can't reach anything. And I have a sink with all of my toiletries, that kind of stuff. And I have my face cloth. This is me. Down there I kind of just have more cleaning supplies. I also have the majority of my other toiletries down there because there's not that much counter space. You know, toilet and then my shower is in here. 
Right, so now we're gonna move into more of my living space. So once you turn right when you walk into my apartment, you look down this little like hall thing. Uh, I have all my shoes lined up here. Um, as you can tell, I really like black and white. Those were like my main colors. I put up this little picture thing I had in my last apartment. I just hung up some pictures. But I really need to upgrade these because all these pictures are like three years old and I kind of want some new stuff. Anyway, you walk in a little bit more. I have a package here that my aunt sent me for my birthday. So that's why there's this is like random box. And I have my backpack for school, which I use every day. So I just leave it out. Uh, so this is one of the things that came with my apartment actually. I just have this little like dresser thing. On the bottom I have my books and then I have a box with all my chargers and stuff. And then in here is just where I keep all of my stationery. On top I have a Kleenex box, Vaseline, pencil case, other things I use all the time. And then that brings us to my desk. So I have my planner, you know, more stationary stuff, my water bottle, clock, all that. And I have my computer that was charging because it died before. I also have this other computer that I rented from school because I don't have iMovie on my HP computer. So I'm using it so I can like edit videos and stuff because I don't want to switch to a different program. And then there's this headboard that also came with the desk. Um, there's a whiteboard on one side and that pin board on the other. I don't really have much on the pin board because I don't really know what to put on it. But I wrote a little quote on my whiteboard because hashtag inspiration. In the corner over here I have my printer and then I have some paper underneath and like other printing supplies so I just put it in the box. Um, and this is what I call space management because I don't have a ton of room so I just put stuff in the box instead of having a little table. I have some random fold-up chairs in case people ever come over. And this is a lifesaver. It's my little plug-in box. Um, I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have this. The nice thing about this apartment is that there is a ton of natural light that comes in during the day, even though it's blocked by the buildings. It would be nice if I lived on a higher floor and I could actually like see out more, but I'm just glad I have some nice big windows. So this table here also came with my apartment, um, as well as the chair. Uh, I don't really sit down to eat here much just because, I don't know, I don't really like it. And I have my microwave here, and it's kind of weird that I have my microwave in my living area, but there's no space in the kitchen as you guys saw, so I have to put it here, which is kind of annoying, but I've gotten used to it now. And one thing I do, um, since I like to stand up while I eat, and actually I just like standing up in general, because I find that I sit down a lot, I like put my computer on top of the microwave and then I eat supper and it works out pretty well. I had this little plant here, my residence held a little plant night, so I got to plant some fun things and hopefully they actually grow so I can eat them. In this corner over here, um, there's another little couch chair that also came with the place. Uh, I just kind of put my clothes on there that I'm like gonna wear again. Uh, I kind of have a lot of clothes on there right now. It's also not comfortable at all, like it's super hard. Okay, that looks nice and squishy, but it's not. It's super uncomfortable. So I don't sit there. And now that leads me to my sleeping area. So this is my bed. Also came with the apartment, just like basically everything else. Uh, I got these sheets from IKEA. Um, and as you guys, if you guys watched my room tour last year, you saw that they're reversible. So that's one of my favorite things because I can switch it up if I want to. And then I just have a few of these posters. I got these three from the poster sale at my school, and this one I got at some random store in Vancouver. And the last thing is my closet. So I have a huge closet because I only have one. So I have enough space to literally fit everything. So I guess we'll start on this side. I have all of my sweaters and jackets hung up all the way in there. And then down here is kind of a mess. I have a chair that um, came with the apartment but it's really uncomfortable and annoying so I use my desk chair that I brought with me. I have some bags that I use when I go grocery shopping, I have my laundry, and then I have my air fryer, which is my favorite thing ever. I got it for my birthday and I love it so much. It's literally the best. And then over here, I have a place for all my schoolwork. So um, I actually got these things from Staples. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but there's like sororities like yelling their chants and it's so annoying. Anyway, I got this from Staples because they were selling binders and they like put them in here and then I thought it might be a good idea if I like grab one of the boxes instead of like grabbing a bookshelf. So yeah, I have this and it works out pretty well. And then I have all of these books that I got from the library that I'm going to read. Um, I've gotten into reading before bed recently and it actually really helps me fall asleep. And then I just have some random stuff behind here. I have my winter stuff 
and then yeah that's basically it and my fairy lights and i have all my clothes in here i just want to show you guys this one drawer because it's super satisfying i folded up all my t-shirts um there's some stuff missing because it's in the laundry but I think it looks pretty good. And the rest of these drawers are just closed and the bottom just has some other like extra toiletry stuff down there. Up here I have my suitcase for when I go home, um, some more rice cakes because um, I couldn't fit in the kitchen. Um, I have my, my lab supplies in this box here, just my lab coat and stuff like that. I have my laundry basket and then back there I just have a ton of Kleenex boxes and Kleenexes and all that fun stuff. Oh yeah, and the nice thing about this closet is that the curtains just close like this, and then everything looks nice and clean. Okay, so that's basically all for my apartment tour. Uh, it's definitely smaller than my apartment last year, so that's kind of annoying because I don't have as much space to like roam around, but I feel like there's a lot of storage. Um, my closet has a lot of space. Also, under my bed has a ton of boxes, but kind of a mess down there so I'm not gonna show you guys that. And yeah it's nice um the wi-fi is really good here as well um I'm on the school wi-fi this year and I have a router in my room which is right there so my wi-fi is super fast which is really nice. Yeah if you guys have any questions about where anything is from just let me know but uh, I don't really have a ton of nice furniture anyway so I don't know if you guys even care about that. Yeah thanks for watching this video I hope you guys enjoyed it um maybe we got some inspiration on storage methods because I mean, my place just definitely doesn't look the nicest, but I'd say that my storage skills are pretty good. Yeah, that being said, I'm going to end this video here, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.